Hey girl. Hey child. I'm Brock. <laughs> I'm Rafiq. <Rick. laughs> and this is Conference Sipping. I, 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 I. <laughs> yeah, I like to mix it up every once in a while. I'm, I, in this. I'm here for it. Yeah, I mean, why not? So, let's talk about sexiness. <laughs> let's talk about sexy. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things. I don't know the words. <clears throat> talk about sex. I feel like you were going there. I know, and then I was like, oh, when you said you don't know the words, I lost the words. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, I'm bringing sexy back. I got the mother boys don't know how to act. Is that yeah. Robin Thicke? No, but he does get confused by him, but it's Justin Timberlake. Um. Uh, hey, Justin. Justin. Anyways, what do you find sexy? Today is the first day of early voting. In North Carolina. That is the state that we are in. <laughs> well, I don't know where you are watching from. <laughs> but check your state, because it might be already voting for you, too. Uh, yeah. Well, some states already opened. So, yeah. Yeah. So, well, I find any person that votes very sexy. So... If you vote, consider yourself sexy. I like voting people, but let me, I want to get, you know, detail. I need you to vote for more than just the presidential election. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, if you vote for, for all of the major elections, including your municipalities, Ooh, I would never be able to say that word. <laughs> I find you extremely sexy. Mm -hmm. I voted early. Actually, I did a mail-in, so. I, this year, I did the mail-in ballot. So I didn't get the sticker. I'm a little bummed that I don't get the sticker. The they should mail you a sticker back. But like, hey, we got your they stuff. Should. Here's your sticker. They should do that. That could be like a confirmation that we got your stuff. <laughs> Here's your sticker. I wonder if I could take a picture of my ballot, go to the polls, and get my sticker. Isn't it illegal to take pictures of your ballot? Yes. Okay. <laughs> don't do that. So don't do that. Um, <laughs> I do. I don't know a lot about it all, but I do know those little bit I think things. That's a selfie effect. <laughs> uh, I don't want yeah. you to go to jail. So <laughs> what yeah. you in jail for? I could take a picture of my back. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be my record forever. Uh, yeah. So I yeah, it's very sexy. I'm voting tomorrow. So I'm I'm gonna get on it. I'm gonna yeah. do, I'm gonna do a one stop shop because you know early voting and a lot of people get confused with early voting. Early voting you don't have to be in your um, area that you live in to do it. You can district. shop in. Yeah, there you go. You don't have to be in your district to actually do the early voting. You can be in any district in your state that you are registered to vote. Correct. And you can go and say, hey, here's what I need, and then you do your voting, and then that's it. Early voting works that way. If you do mail-in voting, you already had to do the request for the mail-in ballot, and you are going to mail that in. It's, is there a time frame to mail that in? Yes, yeah, you need to be in the mail. It needs to be in the mail before October 20th. And that could be different for whatever state you're in, so just look up that as well. That sounds... I'm going to have protection verify that. <laughs> We're going to have a link below for you to go and check your registration because you may be registered to someone else and you didn't know. So early vote may be your best bet um, if you are registered to someone else. It's so where you can go ahead and get it. Done. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So college students, early vote. Yeah. If you're, as long as you're going in state. Yeah. If you're out of state, you need to get back to your state to do your early voting. Or you could have requested a mail-in ballot. 
and those links will be in the description. So, yes, but most importantly, if you fail at mail-in voting, if you fail at early voting, you have another chance to vote. And that date is? November 3rd. <laughs> Across the world. Yes. So that one is everywhere. <laughs> well, by world, I mean the 50 United States of America. <laughs> Not in this. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So make sure that if you don't do either one of those things, make sure on November 3rd you are at the polls with a mask and you vote. Please wear a mask. And I would say go no, early. Early bird catches the wrong. I don't know. Like, last, last time... I, I'm going to age myself a little bit. The last time I did not go early, and I went on the day, and I think I stood, I stood in line for like two hours. Oh, wow. Because I went at like lunchtime. I am going to say, during the, um, earlier this year when I went to vote, I waited to the last day to vote, and I was ten minutes before they closed. <laughs> Look, get in line. They can't turn you they away. They cannot turn you away. If you're in line before that closing time, you are just going to be fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I consider myself a poet. <laughs> and that's sexy. <laughs> but yeah. That is. That's, embrace your democratic right. Um, as a United States citizen, and go cast your voice. Let your voice be heard. Yes. My voice will be heard across the nation. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Like, okay. And next. <laughs> um, yeah. So, what else is sexy? I mean, that's the most one that pops to my mind right now is voting. People that say with their chips. We talked about confidence. Confidence is always good. Uh, yeah. I appreciate confidence. Confidence that borders on arrogance. It's a great line. <laughs> it's a very small, it's a very thin, gray line. But I like the people that walk it. Yeah. Great line. But you like you know what I'm talking about. Like you know, I like we have a term for it called swag. The swagger is what just draws me. And it's just so intoxicating. It really is. I love a good swagger. Just got that, ooh. It's just, ooh. It's just got almost like that. The very suave, very like, oh, I don't know if I should hate you or should I like you. I don't know. And it's that mystery. That makes you attractive. Sexy. Yeah. Be mysterious. But not like creepy mysterious, because that is that's you know, that's a thing. So I don't want I don't want you to be yeah like that. Don't don't do that. That ain't that ain't the move. But mysterious in that like like I don't know. I don't know if I like you or not. Which will make me like you. <laughs> Not knowing is the turn on, apparently. <laughs> right. I need to not know at first. And then I can know later. But at first, I need to not know. <laughs> Does that make Does that make sense? <laughs> what about, let's talk about physical features. Okay. Let's talk about it. What do you look for? I what love is? teeth. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. I am a teeth man. The chompers. Not like that. Don't come at me like that. Because I will run. But I love teeth. Like, you know, it, it, and it doesn't have to be, like, a perfect smile. Like, I don't need you to have, like, my teeth. I don't need you to have what I have. But I need you to, I need it to fit your face. Like, there's some teeth that I see that I'm like, that doesn't fit anybody's face. So I don't know why it's in your mouth. Get it fixed. But, um, and I think the other reason why I think teeth are sexy is because if it's the only thing that bothers me about you, I can get it fixed. 
That's the easiest part about somebody is that you can fix if they're teased. <laughs> Change it. <laughs> if I don't like it. <laughs> if I like everything else about you and I hate your teeth, I can fix it. We'll fix that. <laughs> the mirrors, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then we gonna be golden. Oh God. <laughs> So, I mean, that's just that. Give you that $10,000 now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we'll finance it, baby. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I wonder if I have weird... Oh, yeah. So, the V. Oh, like... Like, the, the V in between the pelvis. Where the pelvis... Okay, this is, this is the legs, right? So, where the pelvis meets the abdomen, mm -hmm. this little, like, between your obliques and your abdominal major. Anatomy people are correct. Um, that's a lot. There is a little, there's a little fold of, like, skin or whatever it is. And that is extremely sexy to me. I think it's muscle. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's also on like daddies with the, like a little bare belly. They also have like a little bit. Yeah. Any like I don't care if it's created by muscle or fat or cellulose or wine or beer or whatever. I don't. I'm gonna have to go check see if I have. One. And if you've got a V and I see it, I'm like I'm into it. I'm into it a lot. Okay, a V. Yeah. It's a lot different than my teeth. <laughs> Now, I will say, though, if, you know, people get strong. You know, I don't, you know, I, I love, I love all of y'all out there in, um, in the sip land. And, um, I don't want y'all to think that I don't, but I'm just saying that we all have different struggles. And some people, you know, struggle mm -hmm. with, with their mouth. And that don't mean that I won't love you, but, you know, you know that it's a struggle. And then I know that it's a struggle. Bless your heart. But, and, and, and for me, I didn't always have great teeth. Like, I'm about to tell way too much, but when I was a kid, I had rotten teeth. I, the nose fell out, which, oh, thank God. And then I had a really bad under and overbite. I had both at the same time. I had some teeth going time. back and some teeth coming forward. Yeah, I had all of that and I would share photos, but I don't want to scare you. And so I, I dealt with that, and luckily, being raised poor, like, Medicaid paid for my teeth. So, thanks, government, um, <laughs> for giving me what I have today. Because, <laughs> otherwise, I may be on that same, no, by this point in my life, I'd have got it done myself. But, <laughs> luckily, I was able to get um, free money to get it done that way when I was younger. Yeah. Thanks, North Carolina. Yeah. All right, do I like any other weird physical features? Yeah, I like strong, like strong jaw bones. Like, like hard, like I can see the jaw bone. Like, I want to see the bone. Oh. I like that. I like that. So you like, like, those cuts in people. Mm -hmm. The V, the jaw, mm -hmm. like, that's just the cuts. I like lines. Yeah. Yeah, I like, I want to see lines in your body. Hmm, alright. Yeah, I mean, I attribute to my artistic I'm to, side. I'm trying to think of anything else that I look at when I look at someone. As I literally look at your teeth. <laughs> I don't think I ever focus on anything else until I see that. And then I might focus on other stuff. Because you can't always just stick to the external. Yeah, but you know, that's what we see first. So, you know, yeah, I, yes, yes, it is, what's inside is way more important than what is outside. However, I need to at least think your outside is halfway decent. I mean. Or else I'm not going to talk to you. And we all have our different ways of looking at what's decent. Right. Like, I love, I love chunky guys, and most people don't understand why I do, but I do. I do. I don't like you to be skinny and frail and a penny, a Look, pole, a penny, a pole. I don't need you a pole. <laughs> to be breaking. You hear what I'm saying? Like, you can't break. I'm going to get on top of your ear. Right. I need you to be durable. <laughs> and, you know, and I don't like overly muscular. Like, I don't want 
the ones that have muscles on top of their muscles. Like, that's just, that's not appealing to me. So, I'm more of a, I guess they call it, what, dad bod? I love a dad bod. I love a dad bod. Well, well, I like all bods, but I will say this. I don't want you to, like, super cut, because I like to cuddle, and I ain't trying to get cut up um, while I'm trying to cuddle with you. So, <laughs> I don't want, I don't want that. And you can't be, like, super skinny, because, again, your bones, they protrude through your skin. I don't have time <laughs> to be, like, sliced and diced. Have you ever had business. someone that was super skinny sit on your lap? Like, that tailbone literally I did. have. I have a mark. <laughs> I have a mark on my leg where someone's coccyx has almost penetrated my femur. My femoral. Femoral? What's it called? I don't know. Femoral. I don't know. Femoral artery. <laughs> femoral. Fem- Damn, I used to be a lifeguard. Good for you. Oh, shit. <laughs> I bet no. you don't need to know that. It'll save your life. Uh, yeah, sometimes you can't check. Ow. What I do? You didn't hit my arm and I hit my teeth. Oh, God, I'm sorry. My teeth! <laughs> Let me check them. Is it good? Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. You have a really big incisor. I do like incisors. I do like, I do like that. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. Hey, hey. Ain't nobody talking about you, okay? I'm just, I'm just telling you what I like. But, as a disclaimer... <clears throat> not body shaming on anybody. If you have any different body types, what have you, it's just not my, my, if you're skinny, good for you. If that's what you want to be and you're that, absolutely fine. But it's not for me. If you want to get my bed, you want to hold me, you want to put your arm around me, you want to put my arm around you, it ain't going to work. So, <laughs> I was like, oh so wait, but I have dated people outside of mine. I have, I have dated people outside of my, like, my spectrum of likeness. Yeah, I had to. I had an ex that was skinny. But he also had a big wang. So I think that was like... I know, I was like looking at it like, oh, I'm hypnotized. But you know what, there are things that outweigh other things. Yeah, his thing outweighed a lot. (laughs) (laughs) So there's that. Um... (laughs) You know what else I find sexy? <laughs> Full glasses of wine. <laughs> What's that? Like magic. I love magic. Oh, if that was real, that'd be sexy. <laughs> yes. So what? Did, so we talked about our weird things that are sexy. Yeah. What are weird things that are not sexy? Weird things that are not sexy. Yeah. Or just tell me what turns you off. Of. Someone's appearance that turns you off. Because we haven't we haven't talked about personality or skills or anything like that. So just appearance alone. Uh-huh. Appearance alone, not sexy to me. A unibrow. <laughs> I mean, that's the first thing that came to mind. I just think of a caliper laying on your face. <laughs> Like, I'm just like, I need you to be separated. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I mean, I guess in some cultures they keep them, and that's fine. But for me, I need to know where your face is divided. <laughs> that's my division point, is your eyebrows. <laughs> I got an equal, I got, this one's horrible. If your ears are big, um, I mean like, big and then like they point out, like, so like, big like if I'm facing you, I can see the curvatures of your ear. Oh, ooh. Yeah, that's like, uh, well you can always take a flight. <laughs> it's horrible. I know it's horrible, but <laughs> things that are not sexy to us. I mean, hello. There are things about me I'm sure that people don't find sexy. I mean, I had shitty ass hair for how many months? <laughs> that wasn't sexy. I also didn't think it was sexy. <laughs> 
<laughs> God, it was so horrible. So, to be honest, I would look at something the past couple episodes we've done and before my latest hair, and I was like, people on the outside? <laughs> Y'all were in public with me. See, that's some true friends right there. They go public with you when you look like a hot ass mess. <laughs> I understood the goal. I did. Oh, you guys don't know the goal. The goal I was the goal. The goal was it's like I was refusing to get anything done in my hair until I got to a certain weight and then I achieved it. So yay me, yay for you. Now you get to see a non shitty hair. We went around the situation. We all made it work. I would say that shitty hair is definitely a problem. Oh, yeah. But, big simple. See, I don't think ears, ears are fixable. <laughs> ears? I don't know. Ears are you fixable. Know, you know, you could with, with some hats. There are, there are some things that you could but do. But when you get in the bedroom, you're going to learn more hats. To take... Well, you know, the lights ain't always on. But you're going to feel it. I mean, and I don't necessarily have to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh, okay, I can't what you're saying. I mean, there are, there are certain positions. <laughs> that, are, <laughs> that being one. That would allow me to have other um, ocular intakes than your ears. Mm. I know, so that was a very sexy way of saying it. Yeah. Oh! Go ahead, we jump back to sexiness. I was going to say, people that are good with words are sexy to me. I oh, am not good with words, as you can all tell. There are a lot of words that she says during this filming process that I'm like, I don't even know. And you'll see me just say, ah. <laughs> so, like, at first, but context clues I'm good at. She said ocular, and I was like, okay. She was talking about visual stuff. It must mean in her vision. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's why, I, you know, I'm good at context clues. Bitch is a street smart queen. Not book smart, so get with it. Street smart, not book smart. <laughs> I'm also going to say that a uncoordinated fashion sense not as tough. I had to look at myself. <laughs> that means I'm good. Hey, your friend loves it. <laughs> I'm good. That's a great thing. I mean, I'm not a label whore or anything like that. Oh, no. If it looks good, it doesn't matter how much it right. costs. Wait. Wait. Hold on. It matters how much it costs because my bank account will be telling me, hey, no, ma'am, you better, you better go to Target and get the cheaper version. I mean, I'm not poor, but... <laughs> but. <laughs> As long as you look cohesive. Presentable. One, like as long as you look like one picture, you know? Like one continuous thought. I didn't be able to see the thought. And like there are times, because fashion can be very abstract and there are, I'm not necessarily crazy, but there are some there are some fashion sentences that are more abstract than I, than I can see, and I don't quite get the brief. So I I just need to be able to see the thought, see the flow of your outfit. Yeah, the follow through. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. And you gotta look good in it. Look good in it. Yeah. You feel out them them jocks you wear. Well, I shouldn't see your jocks. Oh. Well, yeah, sorry. You fill out those shorts you're in? <laughs> yes, you should never see the jocks before you see whatever. No, I mean, if I'm meeting you in your job? I don't know. Where are we? That I am, <laughs> that I am meeting you in your jocks. Oh, God. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to look at them. I'm going to look, too. Uh, I don't even know why I said why did I stutter through that? I don't know. It was like, <laughs> I don't even know. Like, I would look at them and not be ashamed or apologetic that I'm looking at it. Yeah, you wore it. I'm a little Right, and I might even say something about it. Depending <laughs> on um, what it looked like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. 
Um, so, that being said, I remember really though, where would you meet somebody in it? Are we at the, the gym? Oh, I'm still looking at people in jocks in my head. I'm okay. not. <laughs> oh, oh. That's reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Um, so, yeah, we, yeah it's in the name. And so, I. You wore jocks. When? I feel like on like that, uh, guess he's back. He did, but it was like over a fake butt. He was in a oh, outfit. Yeah, like a little Superman outfit. Yeah, he was. But anyways, that don't count. We need to see the real meat. Anyways, <clears throat> mm, real meat. What are we talking about? Oh, we're talking so about we're talking about jock straps, and now we're not. We are talking about, we're finishing up what's not sexy. Uh, on the appearance. Boxers, not sexy. If we're talking about underwear. No, boxers are not. I'm sorry. You're grown. Eh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You. You are grown. <laughs> stop wearing boxers. Okay? Just stop it. <laughs> I prefer boxer briefs. Um, not boxers. Yeah. I like boxer briefs. I also like jocks, apparently. <laughs> um, and I also like, I like. I like briefs if you feel them out. I like briefs if you feel them out. And I'm not just saying in the front. Like, I like a little booty on you. That's also why I don't like really skinny men. Because they typically have flat abs. And I'm not into the flat abs game. So, I mean, some of my abs, I don't know. There's not many. If you are skinny and you have a real, not in places, fat abs, good for you. First of all, none of these physical things are deal breakers. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, if you have a unibrow, I'm going to help you. All right, just wax. We got solutions. I can. I don't I'll know learn, what I'm I'll learn right. how to thread. <laughs> if you prefer the threading method, I will learn how to do it. I will get the I'm nearest old. lady you can go to the mall. that can do it I'm and like she'll show me. It. But you know I'm cheap. So I am like seven bucks. Alright, well then no, I'm gonna give you seven dollars. You can go to the mall just like everybody else. <laughs> Make your appointment, but don't you worry. Uh, but I don't know what we're gonna do with them here. Put a hat on and put this hat. But I feel like you had a big enough like like a brimmed hat. Like a round Oh my gosh. <laughs> brimmed hat, it would take focus <laughs> away from your ears. But I also like elf ears. So, if but I feel funny, like I like that. I feel like if you have big ears, if you wore glasses, it would take away from the ears. Maybe because it depending That's on the glass, enough frame. big enough frame, it would take yeah. the focus from your ears to your face. Yeah. So that may be a little tip for you. That's amazing if you're what struggling, frames will do. It will. Recently, you don't even need to need glasses. Poke the lens out and just wear the frame. Or just wear non-prescription lenses. I mean, I mean. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, just poke that. They're like, wait a minute. They start poke going like this. Thinking if you anybody have poke you in your eye, you need to stop talking to them immediately. And tell them that we are wrong. Unless it's with their wings. Stop poking people in their eyes. And though I would. I'd poke you in the eye too. Let me make sure that it won't on glasses though. I was gonna say, what kind of glasses? <laughs> <laughs> well, we talked about voting, which is important. So early voting, melon voting, you know, then we're third voting. Sexiness, non-sexiness. I think we've done enough this week for you sips out there. So, you know, I'm gonna say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Because <clears throat> I can. And so here we are. <laughs> I'll leave you with this. <laughs> At the end of the day, beauty is only skin deep. And what really matters is how we make each other fit. Yeah. And the and the cliche as it sounds, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Is that what they say? That is what they say. Oh my god, I got it right. You got um, it. <laughs> typically that's not me getting things right but <laughs> here we are uh yeah so until next week i'm bronx i'm repeat this has been conversations
So stay safe and come and sit with your besties. <laughs> I really feel like I am drunk. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. <laughs> mm.